Okay, so here we are in the Minecraft education version, and this is from a teacher's perspective, so I'll walk you through what we actually do and how it all comes together. In this case here, I've actually created some world, so I can create a new one. Um, I can join a world or I can import a world if I want to. There's others, there's others here as well that you can take from the library. But in this case, I'm actually going to go to a world that I created. Actually, before I go any further, I lie. Um, this is a world that my son created. Um, and the main reason for that is because I am not good enough. The whole thing with all of this is about learning and learning from experience. And in this case here, I needed someone that could actually do something for me that I didn't have the skills for. So I went and asked for help. Asking for help is a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna see I've got my original one here. I don't want to touch that uh, because it's all set up ready to go for learning. So I've just made a copy of it. Oop, let me just go back here, jumped one step too far. Oop, okay, so let me just escape. Sorry to do this, but I'm just gonna come back here. With this button here, I've actually got, in this case here, if I want to actually start hosting a game, that is inviting students in. Yes, students in. Okay, so if I actually start hosting, um, you get an actual code. <laughs> and in this case here, while we're used to codes being like numbers one, two, three, four, you can see here, this code is panda, carrot, cake, and balloon. Okay, so when you actually log into your education version, your teacher will get a code where you can actually be invited into the world, and that's what you need to copy. So panda, carrot, cake, and balloon, right? At the moment, no one's actually here, so I'm gonna come back in, um, and I'm going to resume my game. Oh, in the settings themselves, if I actually come back here, like I've set these up, so at the moment I've got it in a creative mode, so there's no worries there. It's nice and peaceful. Um, as we go down here, you can see it's always going to be day at the moment, and we can chop and change these around as we feel fit. But at the moment, like I said, we're learning, I'm not going to put too much of a challenge on people. So go back to the settings, and I'm going to resume my game. Now, in this world here, you can see. Oh, it's actually moved. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just going to double space for a second because I want to find out where I am and I'll be able to actually fly. Over here, I can see my plots of land. Here are the little lanterns that I've actually got as a symbol towards my entry. Double space again and I should just drop. And there is my secret entryway into my laboratory. So I'll take a couple of steps forward, a couple of steps forward. So W to go forward. Right, now here, there's all sorts of things that you can do with Minecraft. Look, I'm probably talking to the converted here, but just so you actually understand, this is a button. If I actually click with, it with the left button, I get nothing, absolutely nothing. And you know, I can sit here and do this all day, but I'm not gonna get in, okay? But if I right click, Okay, a secret portal actually opens, right? So let's move inside. Now here in this case here, you might find there's going to be your whole class will try to get in here at the same time. It may work, it may not. But anyway, you can start closing the doors on people. Right click. And the door actually closes up again, so it's now a secret entryway. Right, now over here, I'm just going to actually move onto that timber area. Look back down here. Again, left click, get nothing. Right, right click. Oh, I'm in a lift that is actually going up to the world. Now, if I don't get off, the rotten thing comes back down. Okay, so here you've got to be prepared for this sort of thing. And again, I'll right click. And as I'm going up here, I'm just watching. Oh. As I get close, double tap on my, um, on my space bar. You see there's a big hole there. I don't want to fall down. I'm just going to move over to the side. Right, double space. And here I am in my science laboratory where there's lots of different things that we can actually do in here. Again, like this, this is actually pretty much real world. So if I walk over here from a WHS perspective, if there's a big hole in the ground or there's a trip hazard, no one knows, you will actually fall down. 
So again here, I'm actually just going to fly back up in this case. So just be aware, if this was a standard classroom, A, that hole wouldn't be there, but you might actually have a trip hazard where you find that you could actually find things that are quite dangerous. So again, in this science simulation, we've got a real world aspect it can happen in real life that we need to be aware of. So safety is first. A lot of the experiments that we actually do in here, we won't have to worry too much about them, but they are, you can imagine if it was in real life, you'd actually have different aspects to do. Okay, so this is the science lab that we'll be working in uh, to do our experiments and see what we can actually make.